My name is Eric Walker. I'm an Army veteran, combat engineer, 12 Bravo. Um, I'm here to speak about HIR and pretty much how my life uh, turned out prior, well, prior to joining the service, after the service when coming out. Um, I never really knew who I was until I walked through these doors. I had been to treatment before. Um, I've been an alcoholic for a majority of my life. Uh, the last 20 years, a little bit more excessive. Uh, I lost myself along the way. I had been to treatments, like I said before, through the, uh, the state, uh, through the Veterans Administration. Um, and I guess I wasn't ready at that time to uh, take hold and the information wasn't resonating with me. Um, but upon walking in these doors, upon coming in this house, something happened that hasn't before. Um, and I was slowly starting to find myself, slowly starting to understand who I was um, prior to combat, prior to my service, and also after my service. Um, dealing with my addiction has brought me to a more spiritual place in life. And for that, I'm forever grateful. But it, um, that was also guided and given to me uh, from the staff and from the people at HIR. Um, I had no understanding of these things prior. Um, I didn't want to hear any of these things prior. Um, I know as far as myself and other veteran friends that I have, uh, a lot of them, we don't really want to go through the bureaucracy and a lot of the labels and stigmas that come with um, seeking out and getting help. Uh, I know a lot of individuals have had careers and uh, um, positions where they were in charge and in, in, in situations where asking for help would, would seem a bit um, defeating, but uh, I just, this is a place of love. This is a place of, of, of healing and not to take away from any, any other establishment that's out there, but what, what this place offers in the form of healing, in the form of love, in the form of recovery, it's a lifetime. Um, I was suicidal prior to coming in here. Um, I had had previous attempts. Um, I don't want to sound um, cliche and say that I got a set of tools, but I got a set of tools that allow me to live life now. And um, none of those things have been erased that I've went through from my past, from prior to service, from my service, um, but I can look at them differently now. And um, that's, that's okay for me. Um, I don't have the answers for everything now, but I'm, yesterday I just made 243 days uh, without a drop or a drink of alcohol, and I'm very proud of that. But for the most part, I got my family back in the process of this. Um, and what I mean by that is, I've always been there, they've always been there. But in my addiction, in my depression, in my uh, personal, I guess, insecurity, so have you, um, I wasn't there for them. And um, I didn't really utilize the time and appreciate the time that I was you know, given. So uh, that was another big gift that came from not just the counseling, the therapy and the sessions, I believe their whole approach to healing is, is different from that I've ever seen and experienced. Um, and I, I do attribute that to my life and me being alive today. Um, I isolated for a majority of my time since I've been home. Um, no friends, no out, outer type of activities. Um, now I'm more busier than I have time to um, even make a lot of these things happen, but I'm able to help. I'm 
able to participate in my community. I'm able to work with other veterans now um, and assist in whatever way I can. So for that, I'm forever grateful. I think it's amazing that there has been some progress in um, accessibility for veterans, um, not just on the big island where we are right now, but in all over uh, to Hawaii Island Recovery because a lot of people live in rural areas. A lot of people live in these cities and states where the mental health is just overwhelmed and the services are not able to connect to a lot of the people because of the um, either gap in distance um, or just lack of lack of people to serve. I just want to say thank you to HIR. I want to say thank you to the VA for sending me here and allowing me to come here. Um, and yeah, I wish I wish more of, of this could be done elsewhere. Um, that's all I got to say.